Uh, but the only thing that was really damaged was the cords. Mm. And how did how long did it take you to recover mentally? I'm not talking about physically because you know mentally is way longer than physical. How long did it take you to recover mentally? 2020. Really? Mm. That's a long time. Mm. Wow. What was it that um, pulled you out of that? In 2020, because it's always something that happened that, you know, the light came on and you're like, you know what, I'm going to let this go. G-O-D. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. I got a question about them, um, your section of the movie of what happened, because I know that the tragic thing that happened, you know, when you had that wreck and in that wreck, you lost your, you know, your vocal abilities. Was that the only thing that happened in the wreck? You didn't get hurt anywhere else? You didn't get bruises, cuts? That's the only thing that happened? Well, uh, you know, I had 21 hours of reconstructive surgery, surgery. Uh, on my head and neck area. Okay. Uh, but the only thing that was really damaged was the cords. Hmm. And... How did how long did it take you to recover mentally? I'm not talking about physically because you know mentally is way longer than physical. How long did it take you to recover mentally? 2020. Really? Mm -hmm. That's a long time. Mm -hmm. wow. What was it that um, pulled you out of that in 2020? Because it's always something that happened that you know the light came on and you're like you know what I'm gonna let this go. G O D. Really? Oh, yeah, I love man. it. He came and hollered at me. What did he true say? True story. What did he say? He said, let it go. He said, you don't have to carry that pain no more because it's not yours. He said, you That's didn't true. do that. I did. I did it for a purpose. That's so true. Now you finna walk Who are you going to make me cry? Telling you what he told me. I love it. <laughs> no, because the reason why I said that is so crazy that you said that because... The reason when I asked that question, I already had that answer in my mind that everything happens for a reason. And for the main fact that when you answered that question and said that the only thing that, you know, got affected was that, that that's only God. And I knew that that's it's a reason you might have been going down a different path and he needed you to go somewhere else. That's right. You know what I mean? And that's what I saw. Reason why I asked you that. Yeah, yeah. And when you answered it like that, I'm like, that's only God. Yeah, you know, I, I was reading the Bible the other day. I was reading to my brother about chapter 9 of John, and it was about a blind man mm -hmm. who was, they asked him, they said, Master, who did seeing this, 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 this guy or his parents that he was made blind? And Jesus turned around and said, neither this, this guy or his parents were the one that seen it, but that the works of the Father mm -hmm. be made manifested in him. Man. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? See, uh, That's heavy. The, the regular ear would not pick that jewel up. Uh -huh. Man, you know. So not in that, that statement right there. Yeah, because up until this day, to this very moment, this was done so that the works of the Father could be made manifest in mm -hmm. him, so that people around would be able to see what was about to happen with him. And I think a lot of times people don't really, a lot of times they'll say this and they'll say that about the word, but if you get in there and you start to read it and really meditate in it, you will start to find out some of the things about yourself that you would never find out without it. Hey. And I've said a lot of things in, in almost every podcast, but this is one thing I always say that, you know, when I say how long it took you, but it you had to take that long because nothing happened by accident. So your life is not your own. It's a testimony to somebody else. And you don't know who might be going through what you went through or what you're going through and it's your job to help pull that person out as well yeah you know what i mean just by telling your stories yeah we on boss talk 101